Shavers. Hey, Henry. He and his wife and his two daughters and of course their uh, cute pup Gus will be out on the boat. They say that Gus tells them where the wind is blowing based off of how his hair is flowing, all right? And it's going to be a long day for those racers as they start in Palatka and go up to Orange Park. The breeze will pick up through the day and I think by about 2 o'clock it's bringing them some relief, probably when they'll need it most. Temperatures going to be warm into those low to mid 80s and I'd say by 5 o'clock we should be okay along the St. John's, but if we're going to see any pop-up downpours, that's when we'll start to see them develop. So keep an eye on that radar, racers. All right, good luck to Henry and the crew. All right, weekend outlook is looking nice overall. It's a warm one. We've got late day storms both days, but Sunday is likely going to be the hotter, more humid day of the two as we increase that humidity just a bit. We're also going to have some breezier south southeast winds. Both days should be nice, though, to get outside. And I would say as a whole, things will be great to get outdoors and, you know, enjoy things rain free. But as we head toward late Saturday, we've got those downpours for inland locations and they'll pull toward the east into the evening. Same goes on Sunday. You can see how today's really mostly dry thanks to the Storm Prediction Center map with that light green shaded for inland locations, but that extends out a little closer to the coast on Saturday and more so on Sunday. I think Saturday's sea breeze keeps us a little bit drier at the coast versus Sunday's more southerly breezes allows those sea breezes to converge closer to Jacksonville. All right, and so we're going to increase uh, and up the ante a little bit with those storm chances, I think, by late Sunday. But you know what? We could really use the rain. We have not seen any rain in 12 days. And in the last 22 days, we've seen less than a quarter inch. So that's really, you know, nothing. Uh, in total this year, we're still a little bit above average. So that's good. But remember, the longer we go, we're going to get closer to average and eventually drop into a deficit. So we'll be doing those rain dances for now. Looks like Saturday, Sunday is our best bet because it gets a lot drier and hotter 